Recently, I went a little off the deep end. No, not personally much, but with some of the tests that I started doing to, well, try to figure out how to make my bamboo printers cut the poop. Dare I say, poop. Now, it all started when I ran across this on Maker World and got extremely excited about the possibilities of 3D printing a model and making it fade in and out of different colors in my bamboo printers with my AMS. And no, I didn't really read the description, I just got excited, otherwise I'd have seen it was actually about printing circular layers of stacked colors to make your own dual color filament for a 0.6 millimeter nozzle, which is pretty cool, but not exactly what I was thinking. Before I realized my mistake, ran across this video by Bruno at STL Flix, where he's talking about ways to minimize waste when printing multicolors on bamboo 3D printers. Now, he was using a test print on Maker World by user Siouf, Siouf or something? Anyway, this print basically turns off purging by setting all the flushing volumes to zero. Then it shows you how much filament is needed before the next color completely takes over. And there's even a built-in ruler, and you'll see that gradient effect that's showing between the two colors when they overlap. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought that other print was going to do, which, you know, this now means that I can cut waste and do something cool. Then I downloaded the test print to get my parameters ready to go in my Bamboo H2D. And everything looked great, except my prints don't look like the pictures on Maker World or in the video. And well, you know what this means. Time for some tests. After I got my baseline tests out of the way, well, I decided to cut my test strips in half because, you know, save time and filament, and well, I could see that something was happening, but none of them were really going past 200 millimeters. Now, as you can see from all the test strips, this took a lot of time and testing, and I'm not going to make you watch all of that. It was boring to me, but the biggest problem I kept running up against is that it seemed like some colors worked fine and showed a decent gradient, but some of them, especially white, just seemed to have this perfectly straight line going into the next color. At some point in the process, it occurred to me to switch the white color with something else and make white be the second color, and well, guess what? It works just fine. So that tells me something's going on with the colors, especially white, either in the slicer or maybe the bamboo firmware. And that got me thinking, what if I change the filament and device colors in my slicer to be all black? And, well, this is probably crazy, and what if I left all the colors in my AMS, white, black, orange, and yellow, just like that, the way they were for all the other tests? So now my slicer and the printer thinks it's printing the most intense color, all black, but it'll actually be printing the four different colors that I have in my AMS. There's no way this could work. Well, believe it or not, that actually worked, for the most part. Well, now I can see those gradients that I was expecting. And now I can also see how long it's going to take each color to completely work its way through the nozzle and change to those new colors. If I round up, just giving it a little more just in case, I should be good with a, all my flushing volume set no more than 200 millimeters even white. And yeah, that's pretty much what I got from those early tests without tricking the printer, but at least I now have confirmation. But that still doesn't answer the big question. Why? Why do I have to trick my bamboo printer into thinking something like that, that they're all black? Am I missing something? Well, I reached out to Bamboo while I was doing all these testings, and after some back and forth and a long message from me explaining what exactly I'm doing with all these tests and some misunderstanding about, again, what I'm doing. Well, here's what I got back from them. 
Yes, some amount of waste filament purging is required because there will always be a small amount of filament left inside the nozzle that has to be purged during the next filament change. This is completely normal and applies to all bamboo printers. Yes, filament purging is necessary to avoid bleeding and the colors. You are correct to assume there is a difference in their color type. It mostly depends on the contrast between the colors being changed. We do not recommend altering the waste volume settings as they are already configured to provide the best print quality results. We also recommend keeping the purge tower included to ensure the best filament flow when returning to the printed model. Even if the color changes are only taking place when the tool head switches to the other nozzle. Basically, Bamboo's telling us that filament purging is always enforced even if all the settings are turned off. And as we saw in the test, color differences make a difference, especially white. Now, my wife made a very astute comment about this, Ooh. Ooh, nice. saying that it sounds like it has a built-in color theory, and I think that's a great way to put it. Now, of course, Bamboo isn't going to recommend ever turning off flushing or purge towers, and that reinforces the idea that their focus for us is on print quality and reliability, and it's not really on minimizing waste. Regardless, that gives us our answer, although it's not really what I wanted. Something else jumped out at me as I was doing these tests. If the printer is going to purge every time it changes, no matter what, even if I trick it into thinking it's using all black colors, then am I getting a real test result using the trick? Now, honestly, most of us aren't going to switch every print over to all black on the off chance that we're going to save a little extra filament waste. But, even with my standard colors, every test pointed me to that same 200 millimeter setting for my flushing volumes. And that's a huge change from some of the auto settings, with some of them being at 900. And honestly, that's as high as it'll go, so maxed out. Well, I had to know if this new setting was going to stand up to a real world test, so I tried it on a model that specifically said there would be a lot of waste if you only printed one. Enter the cute, tiny, hatching eggs by Rubber Duck Army on Maker World. And yes, I printed just one. Well, who knew you were such a rebel? And the result? Well, it printed perfect. I tried a few different settings, even the auto flush setting and the preferences, as well as that experimental long retractions when cut setting that you'll find under filaments. And every time, no matter what I did with the flushing volume at 200 millimeters, they printed great and the waste was way down. And to give you an idea, the standard settings flushed at 3.25 grams and that tower was 6.76. With flushing volume settings at 200 and lower and the multiplier at 0.5, well, it only flushed 1.41 grams and the tower was 5.44 grams. Now that's a whopping 56.6% decrease on flushed filament and the tower, well, that was 19.5% down from the original. And overall, I saved 31.5% of wasted filament by just changing the flushing volume settings. But that's just one little ducky. What about a big duck? <laughs> I didn't go too crazy. I just bumped him up about 150 millimeters tall and uh, with everything the same except for flushing volumes and longer tractions at default settings, our new settings, well, they saved us 71% filament wasted. Now the prime tower didn't change and that is a lot of wasted filament, but that setting can be carefully adjusted by adjusting maybe the width or in some instances, you could possibly turn it off altogether. Well, there is one last thing. Remember that note from Bamboo, don't turn off flushing and all that stuff. And then remember back at the beginning of all this, I thought I'd be able to make my own rainbow gradient prints. I just, had to see what it would look like if I told my A1 printer 
that all four colors are black bamboo filaments and turned everything off, long retractions, auto flush, everything, all to zero. And since we know the little duck turned out great normally, why not give him another shot at glory? I tried a couple of times and uh, unfortunately it's not meant to be. Bamboo has told us that all those settings are hardwired in and it's the same for every printer, H2D, X1, P1s, and A1s. So even with my little trick of making all the filaments black as well as all the other settings, well, I didn't get my gradient little filament ducky, but I tried. So what did we learn? Bamboo has color theory, basically, built into all their 3D printers. It's what makes them print and multicolor so well. And yes, we can change some settings and cut the poop, but we can't eliminate it all. At least not without some serious adjustments. Maybe G-code? I doubt many of us are gonna wanna get that deep into it, but hey, if you have, let us know in the comments. Well, hopefully you learned a bit more about your printer and you can use it to save time and money with your prints. Check out my other videos for more like this. As we all learn, create less waste and amaze. <laughs>